Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you my newest invention thingy. Um, first off, I would like to point out that it uh, it was based off Ethos Design, which I've got over here, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, this is basically when I put stuff into this furnace, which I'm going to do right now. Um, you'll notice you hear a piston go, and then when it finishes cooking... Yay! Uh, a little light turns on, play some music. Um, the music is optional, you don't have to put it in. Uh, this is just so that I can put it in my single player world. I've got, um... I want to put an area with a bunch of furnaces in it that has a bunch of these lined up next to each other, and it does fit in a three wide space, so you can... so there would be a, ma a minimum of two spaces between the two. Uh, I don't know how I could make this any smaller. It's as small as I could possibly make it. I mean, I'm sure it can be done, I just don't think I can do it. And there is a reset button that you could use to either reset them individually, if they're far enough apart, or to reset the um, entire thing, which I'm just going to use to reset the entire thing in my Let's Play world. But, um, yeah. So, I am just going to tear down this wall now that I've demonstrated that to you. <laughs> because that's the, the sole purpose of this wall here. Um, now... There we go. Um, okay, so it's based on Ethos design, which is... There's a piece of wood there. Um, which is... Uh, it's a two... It's a double bud switch, I guess. The bud switches only go... Uh, like It's two bud switches, but one is based on the other one. So if the first one hasn't gone, then the second one can't go. Um, so it it's basically a... a it detects two block updates instead of one, which is useful for multiple things. As you know, I'm showing here, and as Etho showed, he's got a, a a sheep farm that uses this, and it's detecting when the grass when the grass block changes to a dirt block, or when the dirt block changes to a grass block, to detect when the sheep have eaten and are and have therefore regrown their wool. Um, I wanted to use this design, but I couldn't because pistons can't be pushed. I mean, uh, those things can't be pushed by pistons, furnaces. So it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> and besides, I didn't really want to do that. I didn't really want to um, move the thing anyway. Although it would be kind of neat if you could get it to go, like, pull it underground when when it's cooking, and then pop it back up when it's done. Um, anyway, let's get to building it. So over here, I'm going to build it in the ground here. Um, just to show you, because it can be built. It only goes down like one or well, it goes down two blocks, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, I'm going to build the wall first. There we go. And then we're going to come back here. And we need a piston there. Hole there. Uh, nope, not up there. There we go. Um, and I'm going to build it from the bottom up, because this is... a. Um, I have to if I want it to be... Uh, actually, let's put sandstone down here just so we can see where the uh, wire goes. <coughs> uh, but yeah, if I want to uh, build it from the bottom up, uh, or if I want to build it underground like this, I'd suggest building it from the bottom up, because otherwise you're going to have stuff all over here that you won't be able to... It'll just make things easier if you go from the bottom up. Oops, that's one too far. And we're going to need one here. Okay. And then another piston here. They do have to be sticky pistons. You can't just do this with regular pistons. And then this goes here. Again, let's do this. That goes there. That goes there. Uh, and this one. There we go. There we go. All right. And then there, 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 and there. Let's go here, and that one, and I think we're good. I'm just going to force updates by breaking the tort or the breaking the piston, placing it back. Um, this is the design without the note blocks, and um, the reset button is right there. Uh, you can just feed power into it from here, like you know, if you have this leading to a to some redstone coming off from a distance. Um, and you can even just pull it right through to the other side if you've got them lined up, which is what I intend to do. <coughs> Alrighty, um, 
Now, the way this works is that you can see this this block right here is powered constantly. Um, that's to make this one a bud switch, so when that block gets updated, that happens. And then when this block gets pushed here, it this power travels through to this one, which powers this block, which gets pulled through to this one, which um, bud switches don't work if they're on the same level. Like, if I do this, the... Uh, um, it's not a bud switch. It has to be down one, and then it becomes a bud switch. And, oops. <laughs> All right. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so that right there will power the the bottom one, and then the bottom one, when it gets updated, it pushes forward, which toggles the power up here. Now, um, you can you can make as many updates as you want after that. So you have to reset it between. Uh, like when you come down and see the lights on, reset it, take all your stuff out, and then go ahead and put more stuff in. And it resets really quickly, so it's not like, you know... It resets on the, um... On the, uh, rising edge, I think? It's when the power comes to this block. Um, so as soon as the power hits, it starts fixing itself. Um, anyway, if you want to put the note blocks in, let's, uh... Grab a note block, real quick. That's middle click. For anybody who doesn't know, um, I put my note blocks here, replace this block, and I had it over here, and then we put a. I don't have any. There we go. Put a repeater on it. that, and that it goes there. Um, you don't have to put this here. Uh, it will make noise when um, it. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to put this one here, but I would suggest it, um, because what I've just done with the repeaters is time it so that it will do this one, then wait two ticks, then do this one, then wait two ticks, then do this one, then wait two ticks, and then turn the light on. So, there you go. Um, mine, obviously, has a bit Zelda-y sounding <laughs> um, music. I don't really know what I did for those, noise bl for those uh, note blocks. I just did 5, 11, and 14, I think. Let's reset it. Is that what this one sounds like? Oh, I might have put it to like 5, 11, 17 or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so that's how you make that. And it does tile if you want, I mean, if you want to tile it, you are going to have to put a block here, um, because otherwise this right here, that wire, will connect up to this wire, and that's not good. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want to tile it, just place that block there. That's all you need. Again, these aren't necessary. This does have to be a block, just if you put a note block there, then you get a note block instead. Um, actually, that should be dirt. But yeah, so that's it. It is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. Uh, I guess technically you need. Um, I guess you do need the um, the torch down there. So that would be. I'm just gonna count the torch as the bottom block, not the block it's on, because presumably this is gonna be underground anyway, because you know you're kind of working on it, but. So, it was, what was it? Six this way, I think. Four, five, six. And then by three, by one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six by three by six. It's pretty compact as far as I could tell. Um, I mean, it's like you said before, it could probably be made more compact, but I'm not really that good at making things compact. And this took me a ridiculously long time to actually get it to work just properly. So, uh, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much all for today. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.